Hi there. In my last video, I was talking about making the solid PCB at home and PCB chemistry. Today, I would like to talk about PCB finishing. In this video, I'm going to use PCB tinning and UV solder mask. Let's get started. <laughs> PCB finishing is an important process, gives the PCB proper protection from oxidation and protects your circuit from accidentally short circuits. Also gives nice locking to the PCB. It's also known as solder resist because it resists the soldering and limits it only on the areas you want. In this video, we're gonna need a PCB, UV curable solder mask, UV light source, thinning solution. If you want to know how to make it, check out my last video. Nail polish remover, alcohol, two bases of glass. I would like to say solder mask doesn't success from the first time. According to different materials and tools like transparent paper and UV light source, also PCB itself. So here we start. First, I would like to turn the whole PCB by immersing the PCB inside thinning solution for a minute. And actually, I do this before applying solder mask because it's easier to clean the PCB while nothing is sticking on the board. Okay, now let's move to solder mask. Put a piece of transparent paper under a PCB, then apply small amount of UV solder mask. Another piece of transparent paper above. Apply pressure and use the squeegee to spread the paint. Don't apply too much pressure. Now align your artwork on the top of the PCB. Apply UV light for 10 seconds. And here I would like to tell you that not all of us have the same light source. So, you need to decide how long your UV light need to cure the ink. Stop exposing and try to peel off the transparent paper. Here I have a mistake. Everything is gone right, but the solder mask here is sticking to the transparent paper and nothing on the PCB. So I have to do this again, but this time I sanded the PCB using sandpaper and water. Also I used this light sheet for paper folders instead of transparent paper about the PCB. And here we go. This time the mask is cured well and it's sticking to the PCB. So now I'm going to remove the non cured mask using alcohol. I think acetone will be good. So let's try acetone. Actually, I found out acetone is better than alcohol and faster. So now the VCB is finished using thinning solution and solder mask. So let's see if this mask is really can resist soldering. It works great and solder is limited inside the beds only. 
by locking on another PCB made with PCB way, it looks like the beds has the same surface level of the solder mask while my own PCB has lower beds level. That happens when we order HASO aka hot air surface level because HASL gives more thickness to the beds. According to PCBWay website, HASL gives about 18 months of beds shelf life. The process cost is medium. Surface thickness can be from 1 to 25 micrometers. Flux compatibility is good, but it also gives uneven surface, not suitable for fine beach components. The VCP takes a thermal shock about 240 degrees that can stress the whole PCB. So that's all today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.